Hi guys! It is, I think, day six in quarantine here at home. Uh, so much better to be at home. If you don't know, this is our second round of quarantine. First quarantine was in Sydney when we arrived back from America. And then because the states are closed in Australia, especially WA, um, we are quarantining. But luckily you can do it at home. So, day six of being at home. Uh, Chad's not dead, so that's a good thing. <laughs> no bodies in the backyard. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's been actually pretty good. Um, of course, when you're intense and intensely with someone, um, yeah, I would love to go back to a clip here where it explains. Yeah, I don't do well not leaving the house once a day. So, um, <clears throat> we got a couple of deliveries today. First delivery, we got our rowing machine. Uh, Chad ordered that when we were quarantined in the States, um, thinking we don't want to go insane while at home as well, but also just working on our fitness. Um, as you might be able to tell, I gained quite a bit of weight. Um, especially since our last round of IVF. Uh, I think that's just been a whole lot of um, stress, interesting circumstances, uh, is what it is, but we're gonna work on that towards next year's goal of doing another round of IVF. So yes, uh, next year, big things are gonna be happening. We are looking at buying a house in January, February. So we're going to hopefully be moving again. Um, I feel like it hasn't been that long since we moved, but it has been, I guess, a year and a half around that time frame since we've been here. But of course, we've been gone for a massive chunk of that. Um, <laughs> I think I worked out that we've been back in Australia living for almost, December will be three and a half years. And of that time, uh, what did we work out? I think eight months of that has been spent in America. Chad, it's longer than that. It's close to a year. Um, so <laughs> even though we're back here in Australia, accumulatively, um, we've actually spent a lot of time back in the States. Of course, if you have checked out some of my previous vlogs, especially this last couple fresh rounds, um, Chad's mum was very sick with cancer. Things took a turn for the worse. Uh, in these last, well, this year really, end of last year, beginning of this year. Um, so we had put on hold buying a house for the second time so that we could um, jump on a plane at a moment's notice if need be, which Chad did. Um, so we are extremely grateful that we got that time with her before she passed away. Um, but of course it just meant things, everything else has been kind of Push back to the side. So now that we're home, um, we are, yeah, by the grace of God, we've managed to build up our savings account again. Um, and that's, I literally don't understand how the math of that works. It is literally the grace of God uh, because neither of us have really worked um, for like four to eight months. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so. We are doing well, uh, we're getting ready to do that. Very excited about that. Um, our second order, I got some Christmas stuff just from Kmart. I think you can see it there, Merry Bye. So happy about that uh, and getting ready to decorate. Chad does not like me decorating till after Thanksgiving, but there's a caveat to that this year. We are actually gonna be doing Thanksgiving on Sunday after Thanksgiving. Um, because we're in Australia, it's not celebrated here. It's more that we do this and we share it with different family and friends every year that we're here to do it. And um, the friends that we're wanting to be here and share with us uh, aren't really available to the weekend. And then I probably have my first football game back. Yes, I am going back to football this year. Um, 
so I'll be playing football on Saturday. So we just decided Sunday is the best day uh, to be able to do Thanksgiving. So I might set up Christmas a little bit early. We will see how we go. We've got some more organizing to do around the house. And of course, I've got another week and a bit to do that. Uh, we got a knock on the door from the police last night. Um, they are patrolling for a quarantine, I guess. So they wanted to make sure that we were at home and no one else was here. Um, that is accurate. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but they informed us we are not allowed to leave on the 21st. It's the end of the day of the 21st. They said midnight. So I'm like, well, midnight on the 21st is... 12 o'clock a.m. right so it's be so it's not actually till the 22nd we're allowed to leave so that's actually the morning of the 16th day because we arrived on the morning of the 7th so um, the police don't include that as day one they include that as day zero but instead of letting us leave at the same time we enter the country it's like they're making us wait until the next day. So it's actually on the 16th day for our second quarantine before we can leave. So I was a little bit upset. I know it's only an extra couple of hours, but it's been a month that we've been in quarantine uh, by then and um, I'm itching to get out. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to next year. We've got big things coming up. Hopefully it moves. Another round of IVF. Uh, yeah, big stuff. Starting to pull everything out so I can rearrange so this is not in the middle of the room. Finally got the office slash dressing room slash gym all organized now. I feel a lot better about the space. Um, got my weights. We only have some dumbbells, but um, got them set up in the corner as well. I'll do a quick spin around. So now when we come in, we've got my office desk, cabinet, gym along the window dresser and then in the corner is my gym bag with all my football gear in it and weights and a um, roller from my back So I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but before I came to America to be with Chad, I got my allergies tested and it said that um, I was allergic to dairy to a point where I wasn't yet, but if I continue to be exposed to dairy that I would um, possibly need an EpiPen. So <laughs> not sure if you can see, but I started breaking out in a hive right here and my lips became itchy. Uh, when I had a granola bar that is gluten free um, and it is vegan friendly for dietary purposes but is processed in a plant that may contain milk and other things so um yeah I think I'm getting pretty sensitive to it so I've just taken an antihistamine uh, and I take it, um, it's dissolvable, and I just took it under the tongue because it's supposed to release quicker into the bloodstream. I can already feel it working where it's starting to go down. But that's interesting and new stuff that I have to keep uh, in mind. Hi. 
Hi guys, so it's been about a week now since we've been in quarantine at home. I'm um, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, we've still got another whole week to go before we can leave the house, but we're at home, uh, so that's a really good thing. Doing regular journaling, I think, has really helped, and doing my daily devotions. I think I was reminded that there's no plan B, there's only a restored plan A. Um, and that's something that I've always believed that God's initial plan for us will always work out just the way he's designed, not the way we've had in mind. So a lot of my devotions the last couple of days have actually been around the idea of just acknowledging God in, in everything and that even our um, upset circumstances, tragedy, pain, all the rest of it, that God's still there in it with us. And I'm not alone. I don't have to do this alone. And I've never felt that I've done it alone, but it can still feel lonely. And so just that reminder, um, yeah, that God's got a bigger plan for us and that the joy is so worth the pain that we're going through. And I don't know what that joy is going to look like on the side, other side. Um, we're entering into round six, so I'm not naive that this may not happen for us. Um, I think that was the big thing coming to terms with after round five, that this may not happen. And to be honest, I guess I never, I never thought that that was an option. I always just thought it was a matter of when, not if. Um, so to have that shift in my brain um, was hard. But um, just different things came to the surface for us and like good things and I'm excited about next year and the plan and the direction that God's leading and I feel like the closer I listen, the easier the hard things are because I know that he's in the other side of whatever we're going through. So if you're going through the middle of IVF or even just really a difficult season of life, um, it is crazy right now worldwide. Uh, even though Western Australia is pretty back to normal for the most part, the rest of the world isn't. And um, we just have to trust that God has a bigger plan and design in the long run. And that's not to dismiss the tragedy that has happened. Just God can use everything for his good. So if you're in the middle of a really hard season, man, we love you, we're praying for you. Um, and just know that you're not alone. And you can always reach out, chuck a comment. Um, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Katie Kangaroo or Katie's Kanga Pouch. Um, and you can DM me or on Facebook, like if you can get hold of us anyway. I would love to support you any way I can. Anyway, just know that I love you, I am one of you, I'm praying for you, and until next time, we love you, bye.